I'm Robbie. And together, <laughs> we are. <laughs> Collectively, we are Thrill Collins. Hey! That's what you did. Just, this is audio, so this is for the sake of people who are going to listen to it on Twitter. Yeah, sure. Well, um, we've just played a half hour set uh, in front of uh, lo lovely Paul and his wife. Is it Paul? It's Tony. <laughs> Why do I think Paul? Sorry. Like, you look like a Tony as well. Um, we, 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 we've very kindly been lent um, at the, the sort of gazebo in front of their, their camper van so that we could uh, play a little event for all the people who've had to pay an extra camping charge this year. Brilliant. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it's very much like losing £10 and finding a penny. So. <laughs> <laughs> Almost literally in this case. So. Oh, no. How did you like it? Did you enjoy it? It was brilliant, yeah. I, I, people seem to be kind of stopping and sticking around to watch for us. It was good. Got a, a little crowd up. We were kind of worried it was quite early. We were certainly feeling feeling that it was very early. <laughs> yeah, we've, been, we've been here for, for the weekend, and um, Have you but ever, it, all, it all worked. Have yeah. you ever Luckily. played that early? No, no, probably not actually. <laughs> oh, that's no, a yeah. nice didn't even, <laughs> Lucky we didn't think of that before we did it, otherwise we might, might have got a bit more nervous. But um, no, yeah. we've never played that early. We generally try and no pre-midday gigs. Yeah. Just burn up. Well, I generally try not to be awake before midday. Anyway. That's a good rule to call. So how do you like festival? Is it, are you here for the first time at Witchwood? Or? Uh, no, this is our second year, actually. Okay. Um, well, uh, Mr. Pert here is uh, running the, the Witchwood FM radio station. So uh, you've got dual purpose this weekend, haven't you? Yeah, I've, I've given it all over to the students this year and let them run with it. It's a student project run from the university where we do an FM station for Whitford for the weekend. Uh, but this year we've kind of just thrown them in the deep end and let them get on with it. So me and Andy have been free to wander around and, and play, pop Enjoy. up and play gigs. Um, but yeah, so this is the second year back at Whitford and it's kind of, you know, it's even better than last year. I'm glad it's not, I'm enjoying the clouds actually, weirdly, yes. because last year it was just three days of that ridiculous pure magenta, not magenta, the other one, <laughs> blue, yeah. sky, yeah. what do I mean, Cyan. Yeah. Cyan? Um, Toasting your ginger. And yeah, I, and I'm a, I'm a, a pale skinned, red haired fellow, so s too much sun gets on the wrong side of me, so I'm glad I'm not lost to that, but I'm enjoying the nice cool breeze, and yeah, Witchwood's amazing. Yeah. Happy Mondays as well, I just saw the Happy Mondays last night, oh, brilliant. fantastic. Yeah. What's the bits you like the most about Witchwood, as opposed to other festivals? I think... The, the one thing which always strikes me about Witchwood is, is and, and I know it probably sounds a bit cliched, but it's such a wonderful feeling here. Like, I mean, you can go to your Reddings and your Glastonbury's or Leeds or whatever they are nowadays, and, you know, it's all very wonderfully corporately packaged. Um, you know, and you come here, and yes, you know, there are sponsors and people about, but I think it, it, it's, it's more about the people that come here, and I think that's what really makes festival, because everyone's willing to have a chat, and like, like you've just seen, like, people just stop because something's going on, and really, that for, for me, that's what festival's about, is people who all love music and love this sort of artistic or cultural endeavour you come together and just all get drunk. Spontaneous so. as well. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, uh, it's, it's good luck. It's got a lot more of a community feel than other festivals. Other yeah. festivals are in certain places, like Leeds is obviously Leeds, but it doesn't necessarily feel like it, sh it couldn't be done anywhere else. Whereas Witchwood, you get the real sense of Cheltenham, you get workshops going on with schools coming up, the kids literature stuff. And that backdrop. And that backdrop, yeah, the yeah. backdrop of these hills, <laughs> absolutely yeah. ridiculous. And. Um, yeah, you, you get the feeling that this festival couldn't be done anywhere else other no, than Cheltenham. Yeah. This kind of captures the spirit of it, I suppose. It is called local festival whenever I see people referring to it. Mm. They say that's the best local festival they've been to. Why is it called Witchwood? Is it Witchwood further? Witchwood's near Oxfordshire. It's actually yeah, it's kind of further away. Fr from my understanding, it was a sort of ancient folk festival, yeah, and uh, there, there was a team of people who tried to restart it, but they couldn't get any of the licensing or permissions in Oxfordshire. Oh. So they came down here, Sorry. and uh, Eddie Gillespie, uh, who owns the race course, said, "Yeah, sure, we'll have a festival. Why not? You know, we do Greenbelt and the other ones." Uh, and I, I think pretty much from then on, it, it, this just became the home of Witchwood, and I think it's really made it its own as well. So. Yeah. So what's next today? Well, <laughs> <you> probably breakfast. <laughs> yeah, breakfast, and then Yay, after we need the breakfast. Twelve thirty, we're on the introducing stage for the BBC, um, and then quarter past one, we're playing in town. We've got uh, two one-hour sets. Then we're back here, and we've got uh, headlining the Pom stage at nine. Uh, that'll be after after dinner, <laughs> and then um, uh, I, I think we're doing like the, the backstage beach. Um, sounds like we're, we're a very busy day. Mm. Yeah, five so sets. you're not doing any radio station today? 
No, I'll pop my head in and see if they're doing right. But they're all they're all so good, all little geniuses. The lot of <laughs> little geniuses, like they're, like they're six, all grown ups, all yeah, team. Yeah. But um, far more competent. Than yeah, they're sure. brilliant. I mean, they're they're the people that I go to to ask about technical stuff. So they don't really need me. I've done all the boring stuff. I've filled in all the forms, got all the licenses sorted, and now they get to play with all the cool toys. <laughs> well, sometimes that's the hardest bit, isn't it? It is. The it's certainly the most boring bit. Yeah. Right. Thank you for this. Thank and you. Thank you. Stop Cheers. Time.